So Asahi Beer hired me to create a video for their super dry Namajoki can. So I've actually never done this before, which is quite interesting, but the goal here is for me to create kind of like a Japanese beer style commercial for this video. This right here is Asahi's Super Dry Nama Joki Can. It's a little bit different than a lot of beers that you've probably drank because it's the world's first fully open beer and it's being sold in Japan. And if you don't know anything about Japanese beer drinking culture, here in Japan, people love drinking draft beer with a little head. Hmm, that didn't sound right. Um, they like beer with head? No. <laughs> they like some foam? In the States, we call it beer head, but uh, maybe it just makes more sense for me to call it foam. You know, when the beer is served in a glass and then you have some like foam in the top. I know some countries, some Western countries don't really like having foam, but in Japan, people really love having foam at the top of their beer. So, and this can is specifically designed for that foamy experience. So the plan is for me to take you kind of behind the scenes, show you what I do to make these type of videos. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna show you kind of like a 10 to 15 second video showcasing this super dry Namajoki can. So one thing I should probably mention is that I don't have a whole lot of time to make this actual video. If I had like months and months to like plan and do all this stuff, then maybe it turned out a little bit different, but pretty much I have like a week to create this video, maybe in a little bit less than that. So this is what you get for the time I have. So that all said, let me take you behind the scenes. So when doing a big project like this, especially in Japan, when you're working with a large Japanese company, they want to send someone your way. The main reason for this is they wanna make sure that their messaging comes across correctly in the videos that you're making. In just a little bit, someone from Asahi is gonna be showing me exactly how to open this can up. It should be fairly simple, but nonetheless, they wanna show me how to do things correctly, which, you know, is all part of these video projects. あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私はあの、あの、私
Also, that super dry namajo can is available in convenience stores and supermarkets. Also, that the super dry namajo can will be renewed July 25th. The foam has been improved in terms of sharpness and ease of opening. There you go. Those are my lines for this one. That was actually a pretty easy integration. So today is the actual filming of the video for you know the main part of it. Our place is a little bit messy, so we need to kind of clean that up, and we kind of um, have our rough outline that we've already planned, but we kind of just need to work out some of the details as we go. Again, I'm not a production company in the sense a lot of the stuff that I do is kind of like documentary style and kind of see what happens and film it as it goes. So having everything storyboarded and have it like each shot planned is something I usually don't do. So anyways, Michael's here. You ready? Sure. So I think we just need to kind of like clean stuff up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so I think we need to get rid of the brown banana. <laughs> Either way, we probably don't want the brown banana. I think we can just start from inside. From inside okay. and just use this backpack? Yeah, but you gotta put something inside though. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Won't be these little stepping stones. Better? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Before filming, Michael and I usually talk about the shots we need and how to film it. But when you're on site, the environment, lighting, etc. may be a little bit different, so we need to make adjustments on the fly. If it's on this side, I can see. Like, all the way back. Yep. Is that good? Just one take? <laughs> <laughs> yes! These days, I'm usually doing all of the camera work, but... This time, Michael is gonna do the camera work. I'm a retired cameraman. I so, don't remember. That's another thing we don't know how this the camera work is gonna like end up doing because. Oh, you know, those you. <laughs> now we gotta do the refrigerator shot. This is a product from other brand. Was it regarding? That does happen once in a while. Is it okay? I think it's okay. Mm. Is it, is it like this? No. <laughs> I think one of them will work, right? Mm. Okay. Okay, so I think this shot here, we want to try to get my face reaction. So the scene kind of just changed and I saw the foam. I'm just going to react to it and be like, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> so my hair just like stands up all of a sudden. <laughs> it wasn't like this before. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, that's it. So I guess the next scene you see after this is going to be the actual video we made. So roll it. Three, two, one. Sekai Hatsu Namajo Kikan. So that's the video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more videos like this or anything related to Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. I'll catch you guys in the next one.